When Pedro Castillo won the presidency one year ago, he promised Peruvians he would stamp out corruption in government and end poverty in the country. The farmer and rural teacher also candidly said he was learning the job on the go, but one year on Castillo is struggling. He has sworn in four cabinets with more than 50 ministers dismissed amid political infighting. We are not here to be a circus. The country has put us here to work for Peru, for development and a fight against corruption. But Castillo himself stands accused of corruption. The attorney general is investigating Castillo for peddling, graft and obstruction of justice for allegedly orchestrating the escape of key allies who prosecutors say may hold evidence of the president's involvement in crimes. He is not the honest man we thought he was. He is suspected of corruption in his awarding of public contracts. Perhaps the most solid accusation against him is silencing people who could accuse him of being a criminal. When Castillo won the presidency, he raised the hopes of poor Peruvians who saw in him a man who would better understand their grievances. But the pandemic and rising fuel prices caused by the war in Ukraine have made conditions worse. And allegations of corruption by the president have turned the hopes of millions of Peruvians into anger. His presidency has been marked by constant protests, claiming Castillo is incompetent and corrupt. Opinion polls show his approval rating is at a low of just 19 percent, with most former presidents either under investigation or convicted of corruption, Peruvians say they want him out. We want the truth to be known because we deserve a president who is not involved in corruption. But the president says he's innocent and still some supporters give him the benefit of the doubt. Anyone can be investigated, but until there is a sentence, there is no guilt. Castillo has unsuccessfully requested the attorney general and the probes. While the president cannot, under Peruvian law, be tried or sentenced while still in office, his political enemies are working hard to ensure that he'll be removed as president and sent to trial long before the end of his official five-year term. Mariana Sanchez Alcacira, Lima, Peru.